Hey everyone, it is Noah here from Menendez Headquarters, and today we are going to do a quiz called <clears throat> Pick the Better NBA Player. So I don't know which one I should do. I don't know if I should do the first one or the second one. So the first one is just Pick the Better NBA Player, the quiz, or I should do the second one, which is Pick the, be the Better NBA Player, and we'll tell you if you'd be a better, if you'd be a good GM. I think I'll do the second one, especially because... <coughs> Because it's more dated. It's it's in 2019 instead of 2018. So, uh, we'll do the GM one. Let's get started. Alright. So, this is going to be a little different since it's 20, 2019, but... Alright, so let's start. So, this is 2019. Just remember that, guys. Kawhi Leonard or Carl Anthony Towns? Okay, so this is when Kawhi was on the Raptors. He was insane. That was an insane season for him. Cat has always been great for his whole career, but I'd say Kawhi Leonard would be the better player. Damian Lillard or Chris Paul? Damian Lillard had a hell of a year in 2019. Chris Paul, he was on the Rockets, and, like, he he could have been in the Thunder. I don't remember, but still, like, he was he was good, but, like, he wasn't as good as Damian Lillard was at that time. So I'm going to go with Damian Lillard. James Harden or Giannis out of the Kumbo? Ah, uh, <clears throat> James Harden, that was his prime. Like, honestly, like, now he's just washed out. He's not even that good. But, like, back then, he was... He was amazing. Average 36 points. I mean, like a triple double. Like that's it's really it was really good. Giannis was also really good, but it was James Harden at that time. Jimmy Butler or John Wall? Jimmy Butler, man. John Wall was like barely playing, or he might have was playing, but like he wasn't as good as he was, like 2017. That was his like best year. So I'll go Jimmy Butler. Demar Derozan or Zach Levine? Um, probably Demar since he was good still. Like, I mean, he's, he's still really good on the Bulls, but I would just think that DeMar is better than Zach because Zach started, like, last year, and he hasn't been great, like, the few years past. So I'm going to go with DeMar DeRozan. Kyrie Irving or Kyle Lowry? Come on, that's not even a question. Kyrie Irving, man. The dude's got handles. He's He can shoot. He can pass. He's so good. I mean, Kyle Lowry's good at defense and stuff like that, but Kyrie's more of a better, he's a better leader. Russell Westbrook, oh my gosh, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, man, I get it, Russell Westbrook is, like, very good at getting triple doubles, especially at that time, no, he was on the Rockets, so he wasn't that great, like, he was really good on the Thunder, like, 2018, 2017, 2016, even, even back then, even a little bit more, but Steph Curry, already, he's a top six player in the whole entire league, all right, LeBron James, or, what, what kind of question is that? Is Luol Jang like the goat or something? Like, is he like favorite? Come on, man. LeBron. I might as well just go with Luol Jang. But... All right, LeBron. All right, so Kevin Durant and Kemba Walker. This is actually getting easy. Kevin Durant, man. He's so like, no one appreciates him. Everyone just hates him. I mean, he's so good at basketball. Like, come on. LaMarcus Aldridge. Oh, oh, wait. But this one, Kemba Walker was really good. But still, Kevin Durant is better than Walker in general. All right. LaMarcus Aldridge or Luka Doncic? Luka, especially. I mean, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge is such an underrated player. One of my most, most underrated players on, on the list. But Luka, like, right away came in and averaged 20 points and, like, 7 assists or something like that. Or 8 and, like, 6 rebounds. And it was really good. Alright, so we get another Kawhi one. Paul George or Kawhi Leonard? Paul George is really good with the Thunder. Like, really good with them, with Russell Westbrook. Kawhi was also really good. Damn, this was tough. That's still, the, still Kawhi because he led him to the finals, and he didn't choke like Paul George did. Yeah, that's right. Jason Tatum or James Harden. James Harden. Since Jason Tatum wasn't just there yet, he was still a great player, but he's really good now. So, yeah. Blake Griffin or Al Horford? Al Horford. Blake Griffin, honestly, is overrated. He was, like, picked number one over Steph Curry, man. He was a good player, but, like, he never really showed anything else since he left the Clippers. So, Al Horford, he's still pretty good. Al Horford's good. Mike Conley or, oh, my gosh, Michael Beasley. Are you kidding me? Come on, Mike Conley. Mike Conley, one of the most underrated players, even though he got injuries. D'Angelo Russell or De'Aaron Fox? 2019, D'Angelo Russell was on the Lakers, last year on the Lakers, or either the first year on the Nets. Either way, he was pretty good at that, like, he got good. But, I have to go with, uh, I have to go with De'Aaron, man. Great defender, speed, you know, 
Good playmaking. Yeah. Good defender. Lonzo Ball or Cat? Cat, come on. Kevin Love or Kristaps Porzingis? Kevin Love since Kristaps was good in 2018 and, and he got injured a lot in like 2019. He was like injured most of his career. And now he's a good player, but still like he's not Kevin Kevin Love is like inconsistent, but he can play really good. Aaron Gordon or Anthony Davis? I'd have to go with Anthony Davis because in 2019 he was good. In 2022 he's soft like toilet paper. <laughs> Since with all the injuries he's gotten. Derek Rose or Donovan Mitchell? Donovan Mitchell, man. Derek Rose wasn't even good in the 2019. He was in the Pistons. He wasn't like the Bulls where he used to be in 2010 and 2011. Donovan Mitchell is, is literally a great player. He's not overrated at all. If people say he's overrated, then they're wrong. That's that. Draymond Green or Dwight Howard? Dwight Howard was out of his prime. Draymond Green, he was still relatively decent. Uh, good. He's still good at defense and playmaking. He's not good at scoring at all. Not good at offense, but Kyle Kuzma or Le Oh my gosh, I swear these questions are really getting to me. Kyle Kuzma's had a hell of a year, though, on the Wizards this year. But on the Lakers, he was not that good. So LeBron James. Joakim Noah or Joel Embiid? Joakim Noah was actually a really good NBA player, but like just judging out of time, Joel Embiid. Because he was good at defense, but like really nothing else. And defense and rebounding. DeAndre Jordan or Go Gordon Hayward? <sighs> Gordon Hayward just got injured, but he's still good. And DeAndre Jordan was a group. Chickens, are you okay? Jeez. Sorry about that, guys. Chickens are getting big, and they're just like really, really, really trying to assert dominance right now. So sorry if you guys heard that. DeAndre Jordan or Gordon Hayward? Okay, so DeAndre Jordan was like, like. He was like he was good at like lobbing, but like in defense. But he sucked at. He was just not like a player who really impressed me too much. But he was good. But still, Gordon Hayward impressed me. He was good. He had good hair too. <laughs> Trey Young, Raymond Felton, come on, Trey Young, man, so good. Rudy Gobert or Serge Ibaka? Who? Serge Ibaka was really good with the Thunder, but Stifle Tower has been consistent most of his whole career. Harrison Barnes or Isaiah Thomas? Now this one is tough. If we're judging like. Just this year, like that year or overall, um, I have to say Isaiah because like he had like averaged like 26, 27 a game if you like for like two, one, two or three seasons. But Harrison Barnes has been also really good. I hate people that say he's a bust. He's really good actually. Um, if we're judging off by this year, like I'm just gonna say this year, I'll say Harrison Barnes. But if it's like overall, then Isaiah Thomas, Larry Nance Jr. or Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson. <laughs> Jamal Crawford or Jalen Brunson? Jamal Crawford. Mr. Shake and Bake, he retired this year, but what a great player. What a great career he had as a sixth man. Vince Carter or Trey Burke? Come on, Vince Carter, man. He had a, what, 20-year career? 22, whatever. And average, he had a great career. Jordan Clarkson or Jose Calderon? Um, huh. Jordan Clarkson or Jose Calderon? Calderon was older. He had a very short, like he was like good for a few seasons, and then he like, eh. I'd have to go. Ah, I'll go. With, I'll go. Jose. He had a good career. He had a better career than Jordan Clarkson. Zach Collins or Wendell Carter? Wendell Carter, just because he played good for on the Bulls, and he hasn't really turned out to be anything special, but still a reliable player. Darren Collison or Dirk, Dirk Nowinski? I love Darren Collison, man, but Dirk Nowinski is something I mean, like easily better. Ooh, is Dwayne Wade in the Cavs uniform? Jordan, Gordon Dragic or Dwayne Wade? Dwayne Wade. Channing Fry or Clint Capella? Clint Capella. Uh, Channing Fry had a great career, but Capella has always been a great rebounder and defender and also been pretty reliable on offense, too. Markel Fultz or Matthew Della Vidova? Matthew Della Vidova, since Markel Fultz really hasn't proved anything that he's a number one pick. He's good player, I still believe him, but like he still hasn't proved that he's number one pick. How do you say that word? He's, um, I don't even know. Anyway, you, you guys tell me in the comments. I think you know what I mean. But Nathan Delavidova overall had a good career, and he's probably coming back to the Kings this year. So, yeah. Carmelo Anthony or DeMarcus Cousins? Um, hmm. They both kind of, like, had the same kind of injury. So, like, Carmelo got 
injured or no he got, he got switched to a team and he got bad but he also did get injuries on like the knicks and that's what made him bad so did demarcus he got an uh like an achilles injury on the pelicans and then he got pretty not good at all um overall i'd say kamala because he's really he's just he's like top what 10 in scoring and he was also really just good at that mid-range shot it was pretty taj gibson or terry rozier Taj Gibson has had a great career with the Bulls, but nothing special. I feel like Terry Rozier is really growing as a player on the Hornets. And I don't know if he's going to get traded or not, but overall he's had a really good career with the Hornets, and he's been good. Jeremy Lin or Jeff Green? Jeff Green is a player that I really never think about because he's just like, he was good on the Celtics, and then he got not great once he left the, left the Celtics. But Jeremy Lin was just good for, you know, like he was Lin Sanity for, you know, maybe like one, I mean, like a few years, but like he just fell off big time. Like, and he's not even in the NBA anymore. I, uh, Jeff, uh, go with Jeremy Lin. He had a better, like, just career. He had name, Lin Sanity, and stuff like that, so. Carmelo Anthony or Chandler Parsons? Chandler Parsons, flat jump shot. No, Carmelo Anthony. Tim Hardaway or Trevor Ariza? Um, Trevor Ariza was honestly not that great in his whole career. Go with Tim Hardaway Jr. He's not not the dad. It's Tim Hardaway Jr. Josh Hart or J.R. Smith? J.R. Smith be looking high in that picture, man. Jeez. <laughs> um. Huh. J.R. Smith was really good on the Knicks and the Nuggets with Carmelo. Like, literally, they were two buddies. Uh, J.R. Smith. New Orleans Noel or Patrick Beverly? New Orleans Noel really has never had a chance to prove himself as a player too much. Especially since he was like, I don't remember what pick he was, but he was a decent pick and he should have been a little better, but injuries really caught up to him. Patrick Beverly. Patrick, pa how long is this quiz? Oh my goodness. It's a long quiz. Patrick Patterson or Marcus Gasol? Marcus Gasol. Like he's just plain old just better than him. Zach Randolph or Tyson Chandler? Tyson Chandler was good with the Mavericks with Dirk Nowinski. And the Knicks with Carmelo. Zach Randolph, I really loved as a player in the in like the like the like the early two thousand tens and stuff like that. Even in the early two thousands, but I'd say Zach Randolph, yeah. Steven Abs or Tabo Cephalosha. Fun fact, when we played first play two K, it was two K fourteen and Tabo Cephalosha was our first player that we scored with. That's actually just a fun fact. Um I don't know about this. I'm going to go with Steven Adams just because he's a brick wall and he's reliable. He's good at rebounding, good at defense, stuff like that. Austin Rivers or DeMarcus Cousins? DeMarcus, even though he was not great in 2019, he was still better than Austin Rivers. Ricky Rubio or P.J. Tucker? P.J. Tucker is an insane defender. He can rebound. He's aggressive, but like he can just not score the ball at all. And honestly, like he's... He was a good player with the Suns, but really doesn't turn, like, he doesn't, like, stand out to me. R Ricky Rubio does, because he was a really good playmaker. How many questions are there? Okay, there's 50 of them. All right, so we got these last two or three, two last three questions. Shabazz Napier or Thonmaker? Shabazz, just because Thonmaker really hasn't proved himself or anything. And Shabazz, just, you know, a normal player. Not really anything special, but just better. Mason Plumley or Marcus Smart? Marcus Smart. He played really good in the finals. He great defender and stuff like that. And yeah. Andrew Wiggins, the last question. Andrew Wiggins or Brandon Knight? Andrew Wiggins, because he played really good in his like first two years on the Wolves, then he got bad. And he's been bad for a while. And then he got onto the Warriors and now he's a NBA champion. So yeah. Andrew Wiggins. Alright, let's see our result. Ready? Yes, I'm a good GM. Let's go. I knew it. Let's go. Great GM. The NBA Finals are calling out. Let's go. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And yeah.